All right, well, here in real time, I am back from my trip in Springfield, Ohio. Um, you may still be seeing videos from Springfield, Ohio, but uh, the real Jocelyn is back in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. And um, I need to start preparing for upcoming whatnot sales. So I decided to schedule a whatnot sale for Wednesday even though I said I was taking off for the month of September uh, just because I bought so much when I was in Springfield that it just seemed like the right thing to do to try to liquidate what I had in order to make room for stuff that was coming in. Um, so I am having a sale for Wednesday and then we also have an upcoming paperweight sale planned. So I need to start uh, getting that preloaded as well. So in this video, we will be selecting items for both of the Wednesday sale and the upcoming paperweight sale, which I have been talking about for weeks. And we're going to have, be having both of those sales over on Whatnot. Uh, there's a link down in the description for you to bookmark both of those sales. Uh, but we'll get into the details at the end of this video. For now, let's just go find stuff for the sales. Here we go. So I think I'm going to wheel this cart out. This one is relatively empty. Um, this has some stuff left over from my Madison Bauckville trip. I don't know how I missed these two. I was very excited about these and somehow I was so excited I forgot to list them in my last sale. They, they may or may not make it into the upcoming sale, but I'm gonna take this cart out to the front and we're gonna start loading it up with paperweights and other odds and ends. So we are going to start over here where I have lots of paperweights ready to be loaded on the cart. <laughs> lots of various odds and ends um, in different companies. Uh, this here is uh, Perthshire. I pulled this out of the box earlier today. I didn't know I had this. This is pretty exciting. Uh, this is Scotland. And it is marked with the code. Uh, which one is this? This is a uh, 427 maybe is the code number on this um, but this is just absolutely so detailed and so fine it's a gorgeous paperweight I'm so excited for this sale so we have this Perthshire and then over here this one as well this one is in the box this one is faceted and very fancy uh, you can see it's a little bit smaller. It has the marking or the, the label there. And it has a P. This one has a sticker. This is Murano. Pretty blue with florals in there. This one has a Murano sticker, single floral. And then this one is I think, Glass Eye Studio. I swore it was marked. Oh yeah, it is. It's very faint. Yeah, G-E-S. Quasi Studio. Um, this one is Eckholt or Eichholt. And it sits both ways. There's two flat spots. It's marked on the bottom. This is a D deep C paperweight. So you can see both flat spots. Very large. <laughs> Um, this is also Eichholt. Eichholt. I'm going to actually set that one down so it doesn't fall down. This is one of my favorites. Oh, I was so excited for this one. I found this one in Madison Balkville. This is a Lundberg. You can see the layers of glass. This one is Rollin Karg. Oh, is this one Glass Eye Studios as well? I swear there was a marking on this one, but I'm not seeing it. I just loved the way it looked with the gold. I'll have to go back and research that one. I knew it at one point, but now my mind is blank. This is super cool because it glows. And I actually took my black light into the back, so I'll have to go back and get it. It looks like there's remnants of a sticker here, so at one point there was a sticker on it. But this is just so weird and funky. This... Oh, Isle of Wright. You know what? I think that that small little one is also Isle of Wright. I'm pretty sure these are both Isle of Wright. Toso Murano. I found that at Madison.
Mass in Belkville. There's some other pretty ones here, but um, Murano, I think mostly Murano. This is Murano. That one, Gentile. That's a Gentile glass. I think this is another one of my favorites. But I'm going to stick all these on the cards. I do have this Lundberg Earth. This is probably going to be a buy it now on the sale just because I have so much invested in it. I think I paid 300 for this. It is the larger size, but um, that one will probably be a buy it now. Obviously, I'm not going to double my money on it, but I'd like to make some out of it. Uh, stick that on there. That thing glows like crazy. I don't think anything else glows, though. All right, here is the Orient and Flume with the bird on it. <laughs> it's so fun to see this whole sale evolve because so far I've like had one favorite and then it's evolved into another favorite and it's evolved into another favorite and it's just been a really fun sale to curate. But I'm very, I'm, I'm just, I'm really looking forward to it. Andrew, you want to see a paperweight? You didn't see this one. It's pretty. It's got a bird on it. Yeah. Isn't it fun? Yeah, and you can see the individual spots, like for the eye, the beak. Yeah, no, they did a really nice job on that. That's that's some talent. That's an orient and flume. That's like super, super talented. That's the first one we've ever had. Is that good? Yeah, it's good. Cool. Isn't that neat? Yeah, no, that's beautiful. I love it. All right, so I got a big chunk of the paperweights listed. Feeling pretty good about it. These still need photographed and listed. Some of these were photographed and listed. Some of these were just photographed, but I'm getting there. I've got until Friday for this. So I'm not too stressed out about it, but also I have some money into these. So I also want to get these listed ahead of time so that people have time to pre-bid on them if they can't make it to the sale. So that's the advantage to having them pre-listed is if somebody can't make it to the sale, they can get on and put a pre-bid in. Um, so now that this is pretty much compiled. Not done, but it started. That's my ADH brain. Okay, I started this. Now I can move on to something next. Um, we're we're going to go work on the Wednesday sale. I've got to get 40 to 50 items together for that. So let's move on. My shop is filling back up again. This is what happens when I skip two eBay auctions and Skip a bunch of Wednesday sales. Um, this is all Ohio. I don't want to dig into this until I deal with what I've got here at the shop. So let's head over to the tables and see what we can clear off of here for Wednesday. Dogs. Oh, those should need to go on my dog sale. Yeah, definitely. I was actually just looking over at my dog sale and I'm like, I need more. <laughs> but you were welcome to tune in on October 6th. That is when I'm going to be part of the Dogtober train. Um, my time slot is at 6 p.m. Eastern, so I'm going to be part of that sale. And all of these dogs here in the corner, plus more as I gather them, are going to be available. So um, we're going to keep those over there, and we're going to work on what we've got over here for Wednesday. Um, this coming Wednesday, which will be, what is this Wednesday? The 27th. September 27th, 2023. So, let's grab some goodies. Now, I think you guys saw me pick up this uh, topper and these bases separately, but as you can see, well, just a second ago, they were working out. Now they're not. Uh, maybe this one works out better. They do work out. It's a fairy light. So, I was able to put those together and create a fairy light. I did just realize this one's got a chip on the foot. No! How did I miss that when I picked it up? I think we can include this. Um, debating this larger cat. I think that one's too big for whatnot. In case you know I'm scared of anything that's over a 12, 12, 12. 
So that would be a flat box. I could make that work. Maybe I will sell that. Nah, I had it earmarked for the booth, but why not? I think I'm gonna do this Raku. Stick that over there. This Lucite all needs to go back. It's not part of the Wednesday sale, but it, it will be part of my upcoming Lucite sale, which I think I'm almost at a point where I have enough to have a Lucite sale. These fairies are just so darling. Oh, the fairies. <laughs> I just really like those. I wish I could figure out who. Oh, they are signed. quite make it out though. Maybe a Google image search would help. This is so bizarre. I, th it, I think it's a seal. It's made of art glass. It's a seal, but it has a shell. So it's a seal that, that lives in a shell, like a snail. <laughs> this is a stone, stone seal. Yeah, that's just bizarre. In a good way. It's a good way. These ones work. Oh, they do. These are always fun. These corks. They don't quite kiss though. They like they want to, but they're being shy. <laughs> Mechanical corks. Um, this one, what is he supposed to do? Does he just run his mouth? I think he does. Yeah, he's just like blah, 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 blah. But not really well. He's struggling a bit. He's struggling. Um, let's see those in the carts. Those are always fun. I think his eyes are supposed to move too, maybe? Maybe not. This is fun because you guys told me what it is. This is made from black clay from Mexico. I did not know that. And it's um, a candle holder. Pretty neat. I didn't know it. Uh, now I do. So we'll stick that over here. I think it is supposed to have a base of some sort. You could put it on a, um, just a saucer or something. I had started processing stuff the other day, so I have a few things out on the table that we can include. Um, this is one of them. I really like the coloring on that. This I had set aside to bring home to Juliet. To clean that. That's really sticky. I want to get that cleaned up. Still a little drippy, but it's clean. Um, <laughs> let's just grab the stuff from over here, I guess. Uh, might as well just move it along. So, there's the biscuit jar that I bought the other day. This is, I believe, a pretty um, re uh, recreated pattern. So, I don't know if this is actually vintage or not. I've seen the repros and. Um, so whether or not this is, I think it, the, even the vintage pieces can be, I mean, even the repro pieces can be vintage, but I don't know if it's like depression era is try, what I'm trying to say. Um, but I just thought the pink glass was pretty regardless. And the repros oftentimes will have made in China stickers and I have seen them with the stickers, but people take off the stickers and then, and then you have to know the difference. And unfortunately I don't know my depression glass well enough to be able to look at that and say, Oh, that's a reproduction. So I'm gonna just, just <sighs> having issues. <laughs> I'm going to just sell it as a pretty pink biscuit jar. Okay, so this is another piece I pulled out of the bag. Um, unfortunately, and I didn't expect this, but when I went to go take the Goodwill sticker off of this, it pulled off some of the silver. I've never had that happen before with this heavy silver overlay. I've had it happen when the silver is painted on, but as far as the heavy silver goes, I've never had it come up with a sticker. I was kind of bummed about it. I was like, I can't believe that just happened. Um, but yeah, I even had the hot water running and I went to pull the sticker off and I didn't have it under the hot water because I wasn't used to that happening and lo and behold, it did. It pulled up some of the silver. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I don't know if I really want to run it or sell it right now. So I might hold on to it for a minute and figure out if I want to 
donate it back or what I want to do with it. So this is an Italian picture. I thought it was really pretty. We'll sell that. This, I think, might have some ease to it. Blue milk glass. Um, you can see I've got quite a bit of jewelry here. It's almost time for us to have another jewelry sale. I need to stop buying jewelry until I sell jewelry. And I always forget. I always get caught up in the moment. I'm like, oh, it's so pretty. I need it. I don't need it. <laughs> this is a Art Deco style vase, a vessel. That kind of reminded me of a um, Fiesta Ward pattern, just with those rings. I know it's not, but that's kind of what it reminded me of. There's a butterfly cup. Miracle Carnival. These were fun. Those are uh, supposed to be from Peru. Llamas with copper. So we will put those on the cart. I would sell those as a set. I forgot about this stuff over here. We got a little princess house rabbit. I actually have two of these. I'm not going to sell that one by itself. I need to dig out the other. These were really cool. Havilland Limoges. I don't think I'll hold on to those. i got to be really careful. I'm going to end up losing those stoppers. So we're going <laughs> to just take those out and move them separately. I'll put those over on the cart. I'm tempted to move these guys. I've sold two of these. I sold two of these on a recent whatnot sale. They were the smaller versions. These are the larger versions. And they are so fun. <laughs> so I have three more larger versions. And the two smaller ones sold for $55. This one's like a griffin creature. Look at, look at how his moves. They're so wild. Oh, I have four. There's four here. Okay. Um, I like this one. The unicorn. So I've got um, four more to list, and I just got to decide. Maybe I'll sell one. Maybe I'll pick one, and I'll sell it in this sale. Uh, maybe the griffin. So these are just supposed to sit on your uh, shoulder at the Renaissance Fair wherever you want. I mean, you could just be chilling at home. You could have it sitting on your shoulder. I don't know. You could do whatever you want with it. <laughs> You've got like bird feathers and all sorts of stuff going on. Um, but yeah, we'll sell him. That's a jam jar. Not sure where shall be found these. They must have been in a box. These are Dresden. Made in Saxony. Um, and I think they are placeholders. But I'm not really sure what the purpose of this is. Maybe that's a paper weight. I don't know. But they're pretty fancy. Dresden. So I guess she found those in a box or something when she was processing stuff. I'm not really sure. I like this. I might hold on to this for um, a holiday sale. I've got lots of Christmas stuff, so this might go up for Christmas. These are definitely going to the booth because I actually sell vintage Tupperware through my booth pretty well. As long as I price it right and I price it competitively, it sells in my booth. So I'm going to put those in my booth. Those are in pretty decent condition. A lot of the times, you know, they're warped, um, they're scratched, um, sometimes they're burnt because they got too close to the stove, but uh, these are in decent condition for their age, so um, I think those will do well in the booth. So those are going over, I should just move them over there right now, but I'm trying to focus <laughs> one task at a time. <laughs> we can put this, this reminded me of a bell. I really wish that I had little cups to go with it. I do not, so I'm just going to... A lot of the times I'll be like, I'll hold on to that until I can find the little cups, but I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying to just keep it moving. 
because if I hold on to it, it piles up. You don't want to do that. Um, you can see I've got a lot of stuff here in these bags as well. So I think what I'm going to do is I might... <laughs> like, wait a second, what do I have over here? Um, <laughs> you say, I might call it at that. I have time to come in tomorrow and pull out some more stuff. I really want to get through these bags here. I want to keep this clear. You guys remember it was really piled up. Shelby got through all of it. She cleaned it. Um, she got it really organized. Um, she's been really busy with her other job at the moment, um, so she hasn't been able to come in and process, but I don't want it piling up again. So I might come in tomorrow and process the rest of this and then load up the cart tomorrow. I don't know if I'll film it, you might just see some extra stuff pop up in the Wednesday sale. Surprise! Um, <laughs> but it will be September 27th. And uh, this is the start of it. Alright, I was just kidding. It's the following day and I'm back. <laughs> and I'm picking some more stuff for the Wednesday sale. So, I have this laundry basket down here. This was everything that I got at Goodwill in yesterday's video. And I'm already unpacking it, pulling stuff out. I've got cats. You guys might have remembered these cats. I think I'm going to include those in my Wednesday sale. As well as the cat dish. And I was actually eyeing up this piece of glass. I paid 50 for that. Uh, there's a little bit of chipping around the edges. I want to think, I, I think this one might be Moser because it has that, um, that edge to it. That always makes me think maybe it's Moser, but I don't know. I haven't done any research. I'm going to try a Google lens search when I get back to the boxes. It's a really nice piece of, um, piece of glass. So I'm going to bring those back. Um, I'm still collecting little odds and ends here. Um, still going through here, and I've got the rest of the stuff to go through. Alright, so I think I'm going to add these to the basket of things for the whatnot sale. Um, this is the remnants of the stuff that I have um, for the potting shed. You can see the potting shed mark. Um, this is not dead and pottery. This is potting shed. Two plates of various sizes and a little itty bitty creamer. I have gradually sold off the rest of it, so um, there's a few other odds and ends. This is going to be a buy it now. And I think these are going to be buy it now as well, but I left them in the basket just to carry them back. All right. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with me today and helping me prepare for my upcoming whatnot sales. As I mentioned, um, I have a whatnot sale coming up on Wednesday, September 27th at 4 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we usually start our Wednesday sales a little bit earlier uh, because we still have childcare at that time. Um, and then we also have that big upcoming paperweight sale that I've been talking about forever. And that is happening on Friday, September 29th at 6 p.m. Eastern. So I really hope you guys can join us. Um, if you are not able to join us, you can always go on, you can put in pre-bids. I'm going to have, I'm going to try to have the items um, preloaded uh, before the sale. So you can hop on there and check in and see if the items are preloaded. I'm going to do my best. I've already been working on getting the paperweights preloaded and I've been photographing the items for the Wednesday sale to get those preloaded. So um, just check back in. I'm gonna have the item or the sales down in the description, um, so you can find them down below. You can bookmark them, and hopefully you will get a, an alert for when uh, when those sales um, are up and coming. Um, but there are some links down in the description. There is a link to become a buyer. If you have not already become a buyer, you can sign up to become a buyer on Whatnot, and Whatnot will credit you $15 to spend on the platform. And you don't have to spend it with me. Um, you can spend it anywhere on Whatnot, um, and you have seven days to spend that $15. And then if you decide you want to become a seller, you can always sign up to become a seller, so that's exciting as well. Um, and I have those links down below in my description. Those are affiliate links, so if you use my links, I do receive a small commission. Uh, and that does go to supporting my channel. So um, the links are down below. You can bookmark the sale. And uh, I'm really looking forward to this. I've been talking about the paperweight sale for a long time. And uh, maybe after the paperweight sale, we'll have to schedule that site sale. 
um, <laughs> but I have uh, some other stuff uh, in in the future scheduled. So if you just go over to my whatnot page, uh, Crazy Lamp Lady, you can see what we have coming up. But um, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting some of my Springfield items listed as well. So that's why I'm so eager to get through what we have here at the shop so that I could start unpacking the stuff from Springfield and get that listed for you guys. So um, I think I'm going to get out of here now. I can't even talk straight. I don't know what's going going on. I think I'm just really tired. <laughs> it was a long weekend. Andrea was away. So um, Laurel had me up much of the night because uh, she's teething. So I'm going to get out of here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you tomorrow. Sell up.